Yo, welcome back to the BSD4 channel. We know what's going on. What's happening, man? We are back at this PI head swap on this Aero Crown Victoria, and there is a lot of issues behind the scenes. This daggone coolant tube that comes from the water pump all the way back to the heater core, that has to be changed due to the fact that the intakes are a lot different. When you look here, this one is a little bit more lower, more shallow on the bottom, and this one here, which is the PI one, has a lot more loop to it. And it seems to be a lot more taller, right? So we're gonna have to change that. We're gonna have to get um, a hose or we have to create something to make it wiggle through so this can sit on there once we do the head swap. Now, along with everything else that we have injector issues. Now, we're gonna upgrade the injectors because um, the EV6s that came into the PI heads has a better spray and better layout. Now, along with that, we're gonna have to change the connectors on them because these are the Boss Jectronic type and these are the EV6s, AKA US car. And the connectors are very, very different. If you look at them, they are really different um, so we have to change that along with that um, on this um, non PI head we have two sensors here for the coolant crossover tube and we have to be able to put this on our PI situation which we see we only have one now also too we had to change the fuel rail because this is a return style fuel rail that is on this situation here and with the PI version it has this fuel rail and if you can notice, this ain't going to work. This has got the god dang um, uh, electronic fuel pressure regulator and it has a returnless style system and you see that we got two over there on this engine so we know we have to change that. Now behind the scenes man, we went to the junkyard and we're trying to get this engine from this Ford Explorer. And I'm having a daggone hard time because these guys can't take an engine out of the Ford Explorer. Only reason why is because the junkyard has changed the people that work there. So he has a slight issue on what's going on at that junkyard. All right, now we're back at the junkyard again. Um, 1998 Ford Explorer, it's, it's beat up, all right? I ain't seen this car driving before. So it had an exhaust leak, I remember that, hearing it in the streets, driving it around, or seeing it drive around. So the engine is good, I didn't hear it ticking. Uh, nothing but we don't know the condition when you buy something from the junkyard anyway it didn't come in here running other than that it would have something that says running come in or whatever like that so what i think that the guy didn't have any insurance registration or whatever like that so um they impounded blah 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 um you know times it's tough because i think the person was probably going to come back and drive the car and they couldn't drive it so they cut the harness right around here so you know me, I pulled out everything, did as much as I can as far as wire harness and everything like that. I didn't want to cut everything. So hopefully this is a go. Go talk to the guy, he's gonna yank it out. Not me, I'm old, I'm paying a little bit too much for this engine here. I'm paying $400 versus my 150 rule. You can't win all the time, but you know, I gotta spend some money in this junkyard here. Gotta spread the money around a little bit. Um, you know, that's about the going rate for an engine anyway, right? 400 bucks. But, you know, I'm going to get everything. ECU, harness, this, that, and the third. Um, what else I need out of there? Not much. Taking a tachometer. I'm taking like, everything. And when I mean everything, everything that I can use. I even took the traction lock out of this thing because they demolished the whole truck. Look at this thing. And they used that yellow machine right there to demolish it. Now, I needed that yellow machine to put that engine in the back of the truck and I was very thankful that they had gotten a tire for me to put it on there like it was going to help and do something but I took it anyway just because you know what I mean so as they loaded up this truck here man and I'm starting to reflect on why the heck it took them so long to take the engine out well there was like two bolts on each side on that little plate on these engines here you got to take them out man you know what I mean the other junkyard they were professionals they are professional scrap choppers whatever you want to call them man look they use the torch, but these guys here, they don't have a torch because most of these junkyards that have it like this, they don't want to pay for that permit to have a torch. You know what I mean? So I needed the daggone strap for this engine because it's rocking left and right, but we did finally get it back home and we got in that thing there and I was so thankful that this engine is home so I could start messing with it. So 
finally we've gotten this engine down man and behind the scenes man like i was telling you guys man i went and i got this traction lock they were throwing away the truck the truck was trash you know what i mean they took the engine out trashed the truck which they shouldn't have done but it was cool i went and i said look man i need to get this daggone um traction lock out of there even though it's a 31 spine and i need a 28 spine but no matter what we have it here and we're good we're gonna put it in the corner somewhere and leave it for a later time now with this engine here man there's a lot of little tiny things as far as wiring is concerned see that now i gotta go fix that now i'm not feeling that right about now but i gotta go fix that situation there and along with that you got this situation here and a few of these broken lines here now i bought this whole engine here for 150 dollars, and i got far more worth out of that versus this here um, I just wanted to spend the money with the guy at his junkyard because he do have a lot of stuff in there sometimes and I just wanted to um, get good relations and you, the only way you can get good relations is to spend money with the guy at the junkyard. That's just how it goes. So we're not going to use this, we're not going to use this, we're not going to use this fan here. The fan will be going on to the Maverick. As you can see, here's the main reason why they couldn't take this thing out it's because of these two bolts on both sides if you look like this you can't see it inside of the um ford explorer so that was the issue for the guy other than that once he took that out he was good now the engine is oily and we're just gonna have to do a little cleaning first we're gonna clean it and then we're gonna pull it apart and then start doing a little bit of stuff change gaskets you know what i mean just to get it dry you know what i mean um, and, and just try to get it to start and everything like that, man, and that'll be a good thing for that. Now, with this Ford Maverick, man, I had to push this car out to get that engine in, which was a pain in the behind. Now, when I turn on the gas or the fuel pump or whatever you want to call it, man, um, this wasn't reading at all. I thought that this was bad, but no, the pump was humming, and we already know what it is, all right? So, let's go. Let's go take the daggone gas tank out, sit it over there, and see what we got going on. 12 seconds later. Now, we took it off and everything. Let me show you what happened. Hose. That's what happened. And I think that's what happened to the first pump, too. And I threw that away also. I shouldn't have done that. We got it back in, hooked it all up. The pump is on, made sure. Um, you know, the funny thing is I have put this, um, this glass thing in. And as you can see, the pressure is up now when I um, came here and turned it on the pressure was down I already knew like yo what the heck happened but um it'll crank up man So the engine is running now, we're good to go and we're very thankful for that. Now, what are you doing with that engine BSC? What you got going on? What you got cooking up, man? Well, you're just gonna have to wait for it, man. I really wish that this engine could have went in a white one, but I opened my mouth and said I'm doing a PI head swap on that white Vic, only because the AC works. Gotta remember that. If the AC didn't work, I would have yanked that engine out and this would have been inside of that, which I would have wished. But the AC works. So, you know what I mean? I didn't want to go ahead and crack that thing open and, and put another, you know, you get what I'm saying. AC works, man, you don't want to mess with that. That's a blessing during these times, especially you guys who live in the daggone West Coast, Arizona, and those hot areas, you know you need that AC. Now we're going to get back to this, man. Again, like I said, man, we're going to yank off this fan, yank off this alternator. We're going to change the water pump and everything like that. Yank those heads off. But behind the scenes, I'm still debating on those springs. The springs are giving me a headache because I just spent $400 on the engine. That's just going to sit there for a while. You know what I mean? That was just bad business. You know what I mean? I should have just went and got the springs and got everything. I could have got the heads already done. But I'm really cleaning the heads behind the scenes, cleaning it thoroughly. You know what I mean? I'm going to do it two to three times like my man four gauge said man just clean the heads thoroughly double check triple check plus i don't have an air compressor 
So spring and the air compressor is really the hold up on this whole thing. Because you know, if you start to clean the heads and everything, you need to have some air to blow off the debris. And I don't have that at the moment. So, really wish that I didn't open up my mouth and said I was doing a PI head swap because if you can see right there, I have two gas lines. As you can, this would have been a good old swap. Just plug and play, jump right into that white crown Victoria and we could have had something going on. But we're gonna be having a different plan for this engine here. And we're just gonna keep on with the PI head swap because you know why? The AC works in the white car. So that's what it is. We'll see you guys on the next one, man. Thank you guys for the support, man. Click like and subscribe, man, and check out the other Crown Vic channels and Ford channels that are out there, man. And thank you guys for just hanging out with me and just going to the junkyard and being updated on all the projects and how the progress is going on and everything, man. See you guys on the next one, man. All right, man, later.